So what's an artist? Well, an artist is the guy who makes the pictures and uh, makes portraits, and he's the guy who made the statues in the church, and he's the guy who made the paintings in the church, and uh, and the, in the books, in the country guide, in uh, things like that. So I thought, well, this sounds like a good thing to do. So I had the idea from the time I was nine or ten that I would be an artist. And uh, I continued towards that as much as possible. Then I spent uh, four frustrating years in high school. And uh, finally, when I was uh, 20 years old, I managed to uh, get myself to an art school in Winnipeg. And there I started uh, seriously studying how to draw and how to paint and uh, what's possible. And in third year, I had to take a sculpture class and discovered that my real ability was really in sculpture rather than in uh, painting and drawing. So uh, I gravitated towards sculpture and uh, finished my um, graduate studies uh, with a sculpture major. And then I got a job in Regina to uh, teach at the uni University of uh, Saskatchewan Regina campus at the time and uh, that's how I eventually uh, became a professional artist. To be thinking that you're going to be a professional artist from a young age is a wonderful thing. There is nothing wrong with thinking I'm going to do it, I'm going to make it. If you believe in yourself, you can and you will. Uh, I look at many of the su successful artists that are here in Saskatchewan um, who have stayed in Saskatchewan and had amazing careers. So um, don't make that mistake of saying, I need to go to Vancouver, I need to be in Toronto, I need to be in New York. That's where the art is. No, the art is where you make it. And we have commercial galleries here. We have public galleries here who will be interested in looking at your work. If you are uh, wanting to be a professional artist, be professional about that approach. Being a professional artist and actually walking with it is such a fluid process and such a, an evolving process. I guess when you sell your first painting and someone says, how much is it? And then you're caught off guard. <laughs> and all of a sudden you have to put a value, a price, and then start to do the, the business side of art, which is always a challenge for me as a person who's creative. Putting a money value is really difficult to do. I didn't really feel that I'm uh, an exhibiting artist until um, post-student work. So my, my first exhibition, post-student work, I had an exhibition with three other artists that I had just graduated BFA with and we put a proposal together and we had a group show and that felt, I still remember the moment that, that I mean this was a while ago, so get on the phone, getting the phone call saying that yes, that, that this show has been accepted and so I remember um, my, uh, uh, the, one of the people that I showed with being on the phone and giving us a thumbs up and all of us kind of silently jumping up and down in the background. There are business practices that are important, but the first duty, of course, is to be true to your work. <laughs>